Hey, Advanced Ensemble Cellos. We are going to dive into James Bond theme. So um, there are some funky rhythms in here um, and some of them are gonna be swung rhythms. So we're just gonna go through really quick and go over the rhythms and then we'll play through it. Um, so one of the rhythms that is, so at the beginning, we're gonna play the rhythm exactly how it looks. Um, also in the section right after the repeat. Um, so those we'll go over when we're actually going to play through. Um, but after the repeat sign, so in measure 11, we're going to go one, two, three, four. It's a little bit swung, not super swung, but just a little bit loose on the rhythm. So one, two, three, four, one, two. Do you hear how that's not straight eighth notes? That would be straight eighth notes, okay? So just practice that a little bit. And if you listen to, if you just go on YouTube, I actually just did it, uh, go on YouTube and um, just listen to a basic James Bond um, theme video or um, just recording, um, you'll hear, it's kind of a cool um, thing to do because it's not exactly how it is in the movie. And the movies tend to repeat a lot more because they're rolling credits and those kinds of things. Um, but if you listen, you can hear all of the parts that happen in our part. Um, the beginning, this is like electric. Um, I think it's probably electric bass um, or electric, low electric guitar. And then same thing with this part that I just played. And then, um, and then this next part is actually like a brass section. So it's kind of cool to hear the different things pop up. So, um, and then the next part is, all right, so that is, if it was totally straight, it would be one. So it's, it's very close to that. It's just a little bit, a little bit more funky. <laughs> um, and that's how a lot of this music is written. We write down the approximate rhythm and then the composer will just write swing eighth notes or swing this rhythm and we just kind of have to make it happen um, when we don't have the composer right with us. So, and then the other time this pops up is in measure 19. Um, so instead of playing we're gonna play So let's play through it. So starting from the beginning, um, there's a lot of dynamic changes, so watch out for that too. One, two, or I guess I should count the ands, right? Because we're coming in on the and. So one and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. So those both have accents, so you want to get a little extra push. You don't want, right? Uh, but a little extra push at the beginning of that. So you do that with weight from your first finger, right? We all have beautiful bow holds, right? Bent thumb. So you're just kind of pulling a little bit with your first finger, almost like your bow's stuck and you're trying to get it out. And then after that, the repeat sign, um, it's mezzo piano. So you don't need to be super loud anymore. And we're kind of sneaky underneath, okay? <laughs> So if we do it in slow motion for the rhythm, one, and two, and four, and one, and two, and four, and okay. So then we just speed that up. And once you get it, it's not it's not hard because you're not changing notes very often. start on the F sharp, stretch it out, and it's a 
probably slowed back too much. It's really close. You really want to hear that D ring when you slide back to the D natural. And then, and then you repeat back, okay? And then after that, we're fortissimo. So we need to use a stronger bow. One, two, three. Okay? And that's straight rhythm. And then one, two, three, four, one. Measure 19. That's where we're going to swing that rhythm. So all of these places, feel free to pause and practice it a little bit. And then at the end, we have the same rhythm we did at the beginning, except that we hold the second one out longer. And then we'll end on a tremolo. And you want to kind of move up towards the fingerboard and go really light with your bow. So, um, there will probably be a little bit of a breath before that, so you can move. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then, okay? So let's play through the whole thing. If you still wanna do the spots, go back, start the video over and practice those spots. Otherwise, let's keep going. So one, two, three, four, one, two. <laughs> position shift that's in um, on the third line last measure you guys have done second position a bunch um, and it's marked in the part um, so uh, you're gonna play a first finger in first position and then second position so your second finger should be where your fourth finger normally goes and you're gonna play four three two one okay the first time four three two one and then um, the second time you have to play a C sharp and a B, so I would play four, three, two, and then shift back three, one, okay? Um, and that's a little chromatic pattern. Normally we don't play all the half steps in a row, but we do there. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or you can do my office hours with me on Zoom on Mondays at 3.30. Um, your parents should have information in their emails um, or remind messages about that. And it's also on the Strings for Kids Facebook page and the website. So lots of places to find that. Um, if you need to get a hold of me, let me know. There's also tuning videos. I hope you've seen those at the top of each page. So just make sure that um, your cello is in tune before you start. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Um, and if those tuning videos, if you try them and you still can't get your cello in tune, let me know and I'll try to help you do that. I did that the other day with another student and um, and it worked out really well and her cello ended up being in tune. So um, yeah, I miss you guys. Be in touch. Let me know how things are going and happy practicing.